Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another stream. This is episode 63 of The Road to 20,000 VR. So, yeah, yeah, let's not dilly dally and jump right on into it. Hello, Mr. Penguin. Thank you for tuning in, sir. And by the way, you guys can super chat $2 or more to pick my combo. Do not feel any pressure, but it is an option. But yeah, we're going to do light blue Yoshi Wiggler paper glider rollers. That's what we were doing yesterday, and we were doing really good. So let's keep it going. Ooh. I'll do squeaky. Hello. Charlie Yule. I think I said that right. Maybe not. But thank you for tuning in. Also, don't forget to like this stream if you all are excited about today. Okay. The worst option there. However, this is not a bad track, but the other two tracks were better in my opinion. Hopefully we can start off today with a good race. You know, that's always the goal. We want to do well. A lot of teddy buggies in this room. At least it looks that way. Oh, yeah. The tire top front is scooties and teddy buggies. And an Inkling Boy scooty, though. Female villager pipe frame, another good combo. And then there's just that dry bones flame rider off roads, love to see it. Definitely not the greatest combo. That ball has landed on me a few times. Luckily that didn't happen there. Minor bonk. Don't get hit by the ball. Oh that poor person did. Oh maybe not, just lag. Okay, well, there we go. Hello, pumps. Thank you for tuning in. And yeah, we just got hit out twice. Well, hit twice. We still got time, though. Oh. Don't know what happened there, but it happened. And we keep moving. Got the triple shrooms in the bag. Okay, avoid. Alright, well, that happened. <laughs> we'll grab the double box here. Almost got all those coins. Not quite, though. Avoid the blue shell. We'll chain the set anyway, so it won't matter. Let's shroom up now while we're in the star. I don't think shock is quite yet. But I do think I'll star now, just in case I can possibly pull another star. No, but we do get the triple mushrooms, so another good pull here. Just gotta be strategic about when to use this. I'm not gonna use it yet, I'm not gonna chain this. Just gonna grab a single. We'll start going up now. It doesn't look like anybody has protection at the moment. So maybe we can cause some damages here. Or we can get damaged. Yeah, not everyone's passing us because of that. Look at that bomb, didn't get us. And same thing with the Piranha Plant, like they didn't get us. Okay, well we get fifth to start off the day. Kind of got hit late there. Not a terrible race, but probably maybe could have gotten a second or third. But nonetheless, a great race to start. You love this track, Mr. Penguin? Well, it's a good track. It definitely has grown on me. I used to not really like it. Hello, Math Wizard Gamer. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll do Piranha Plant Co. Don't know how to do any of the shortcuts, but we're going to give it a whirl. Okay. 
Having a Nintendo moment here. Alright, there's the countdown. One step towards the track being picked. There we go. I believe you mean queso, Mr. Penguin. I believe it's with a C. Yeah, I like that. Probably an autocorrect moment. And why are we here? On this monstrosity? Let's get over with. Hello, egg doggos. Thank you for tuning in. The egg penguin doggo. Alright, let's get this brutal track over with. Let's see if I'm swifty at this track. Or if I'm just complete trash. I chose to back my red shell there. Just because the red shell wasn't going to go for the two people in front of me. So I decided just to check up behind me just in case there was someone behind me I could hit. Yoshi Cat Cruiser, let's go. You should be the meta. I recently looked at the hitboxes and it's literally like... Not even worth mentioning. So the Cat Cruiser should just be flat out better. At least in terms of... Stats. Then again, the Teddy Bucky does feel smoother to drive still though. But the hitbox thing, that's pretty ridiculous. I recently just looked at it. If hitboxes truly were the most more important, people wouldn't have done Waluigi Flame Rider instead of Waluigi Wiggler. But nope, they did Waluigi Wiggler. Just an excuse to not give up the Teddy Buggy. It's a Part 9 ATV. Yeah, that's one other thing I also hear. Like, technically, you could argue that it feels better to drive. And that probably is the case. But I think the hitbox thing is completely ridiculous. But I could... I can see the whole ATV cart thing. I'll back this. Keep these out. How did I get into ninth? I haven't even really done anything. Bro's got a bullet. Okay, well, this is kind of rough now. Didn't even realize how far we were behind here. Alright, well, maybe I can just pull those shrimps here. I do, which will help. I only have three coins, which is part of the problem. Oh, bit question with a line. Luckily, we're okay. And yeah, there's not going to be any shock yet, at least. So there could be a late shock, possibly. Okay, I'm nervous. That person has a red shell. Everyone's right here. How am I not passing anybody? Yeah, everyone else also had mushrooms. We were all right there. No one really moved up any spots. Everyone just pulled mushrooms. And back down to where we started. Literally the same VR as when we started the stream. Then again, it's only been two races. Hello, Luigio. Thank you for tuning in, sir. Welcome, welcome. Can we get Snowland? Banger track? A bagging track? I feel like bagging is becoming more and more of a strategy. Especially, like... I don't time trial very often, so I don't know the ins and outs of the track as much. So maybe it'd be worth it for me to start bagging more. But then again, I haven't... It hasn't been too much of an issue. So far. You know... Because, like, I don't time trial, but yet I haven't really... It's pretty rare I get outlined, and even when I do... Like, items are too... That are more important than that, kind of. Well, not really, but... Items change the game more than a line. Most of mine are just made up. They somewhat work, I guess. 
Maybe it would be worth it to time trial, though. Probably, but will I do it? Probably not. I already have some separation, and I don't have any mushrooms, which could be an issue here. Hello, Mr. Fred, thank you for tuning in. The 3DS server is shutting down, so shutting down is such a bummer. Yeah, I feel like all of a sudden everybody realized how viable the valuable the Wii U and 3DS were. I know there's other ways to play it, I think. Like, there's a backup server that's already been made. Kind of like the Wii server. I forget the name of it. That you use for Mario Kart Wii. Okay, avoid this bullet. And I just realized I have double bananas and a red shell. Not the greatest... For sure, I probably should have tried to chain the items. Apparently, I'm just yapping too much. I'm fluent in Japanese. Yeah, we're gonna have another rough race here. Most of that was user error. Minus four. What a shame. Yeah, Mr. Penguin's home. Should have bagged. Yeah, I guess I was too busy yapping to bag. You were still playing Minecraft 7 online, though. And then you just see the server shut down. Yeah, sad moment. Luckily, there's still backups, though. I wonder... Here's here's what's weird. Why did the 3DS have Minecraft 7, and then the Wii U had Mario Kart 8? But both the 3DS and the Wii U had the same Mario Maker, or at least it was the same game. Why wasn't, like, Mario Kart... Negative one. Questions that plague the universe. Okay, well, we're definitely not bagging on this track. Not the most amazing idea to do that. Unless you get a shock or something, or a shock dodge, but there's just like no shortcuts on this track. All right, let's do this. Come on, Yoshi Wiggler. This is pretty much my new main combo now. And we found it yesterday. You didn't order a flight in Japan? Yeah. Oh yeah, and it also goes with the theme of this course. What a coincidence. Almost fell off the track there. That wasn't a coincidence, that was user error. Alright, you keep going here. Okay, avoid the bananas, that was a death trap there. We didn't get any items, but probably worth it because everyone got hit there. Except for me, it looked like. Made out there alive, luckily. Sorry, Peachette. Well, must be done, must be done, no matter cost. And I just green shelled myself off the rebound. And I just smart bounced that Mario. What is this game? You won't go through here. Ooh, can we get a light shock maybe here? Let's go. I just had to speak it into existence. And now we have the mushrooms. There's this Yoshi right behind me, though. Yeah, I'll give you some space. But wow, what a race. The second place. And what, I mean, you can back that track if there's a shock dodge. I even said it at the start. We got in the back. And we got the shock dodge. I spoke it into existence, I guess. We'll do Mushroom Gorgeous here. I'm surprised more people haven't called it that. 
But I don't think I've ever heard anybody call that before. Mushroom Gorgeous. That guy's me is literally just a nose. Hopefully we get to play Mushroom Gorgeous. Not a lot of people picked it though, so kind of scary here. Let's go. We get it now. Let's not fail gap cut if we attempt it. We got the track. Now we can't fail gap cut. I'm starting off in second, which isn't great, but we make do. Let's do this. We grab this single. No mushroom. I've actually gotten a little bit better at super bouncing this track. I used to be terrible at it. I may have just failed it there. I was going to fall off, so I had to hold the drift. Of course, at least this is a baggy track. Uh oh, don't fall off. That was a little scary, but it still worked. Give me mushrooms. What is this? The singular red shell? Seventh place? Oh, okay, well. This is starting off great. Still got the item. Get the star. Pretty useful. However,. You can do the gap cut with the star, but it's very challenging. I have never done it successfully before. This is a really good pull, though. We'll do a gap cut and then build afterwards, I guess. Nope, I was late. Late on the jump. Supposed to be a ninth place box, so. We get this star in the bag. Everyone's right here. He's got a bullet. I'm starring now. I feel like I should. Everyone kind of has attack items around me. Come on, give me mushrooms. Yes. No. Yep, I didn't get a drift. I actually would have gotten that if I would have gotten the drift. I still squeeze fifth, though, so I'll take it. Yeah, I kind of messed up on the extra bounce there. But it kind of worked. We take this still. Blood got the 8th place box. With a single red. Honestly, crazy. Wave 6 ruined the items. Honestly, distance-based items aren't really good either. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, but it's like too broken. Because, like, if you're in first with, like, a big lead, you're going to get hit by two red shells and a blue shell on the third lap. Guaranteed. Second place is bound to pull triple reds at least once on the third lap. Sometimes more. It's like, I get it. That way they don't get too far ahead and they don't get a huge breakaway. But then again... If they still end up losing because of the red shells, there's this weird blurry line. Upload a 200% speed run to YouTube? I believe that is a Geometry Dash reference. And I do not play that game, so probably not. That's why no items tournaments exist. Yeah. Lounge at this point should just be no items. No, it's Mario Kart. How do you 200% speed run Mario Kart? 200cc? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Then again, I'm not like... I kind of try to stay up in the news of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But... There's still a lot of stuff that I don't notice is happening. Like, I caught onto the Wiggler thing, but 
Basically, if someone doesn't make a video about it, I probably won't know it. Probably should do a little bit more digging. Okay, now, I think whenever I glide back to this, I always mess it up. So, I'm just gonna go a little bit wide. We get hit by the red shell. Bound to happen. Rather, now that I'm on the third left, though. We take those. Hello, Paperboy. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, no. I bitched me, Turbo. Like, we can still make it without it. And we're gonna get a cannon item box here in 12. Should get crazy good items here. That's good. No one has shock right now, so I'm gonna hold on to this for a little bit. And we'll go ahead and go now. Get the 10th place box. Wow, okay. Oh, and then the instant lag trail. It's terrible. And fall off onto the green one. We fail it. Only got the single. Man, that lag trail really messed us up. We were in fourth. And now we're all the way into sixth. And no, literally, I could have been fifth. The red shell hit me just barely there. Can I have a mixed races so far? I think I'm going to go ahead and do a rim change here. Do everything at 150 mirror mode and 200 CC. Basically, that's 200%. My, my. Plus the staff ghost, that would be an insane amount of time. No DLC. If we did a DLC, that'd be like... That would take forever. <laughs> Maybe not as long as I think, but it seems like it'd take a while. Welcome back, pumps. The fastest time was 10 hours. What? That's... And that's no stopping. Jeez. Or maybe they stop, but still, that's crazy. 10 hours? Sounds painful. Let's see who's in first. I think I'll just stay in this room. A lot of Japanese play in this room. I'm a little scared. Why can't I spectate first? Here we go. Inward Drift. Pink Gold Peach. Wow, okay. Definitely an interesting combo. Oh, and the Standard Wheels. They did stop. Okay. <laughs> That'd be crazy hard. We can beat the record without stopping. There's no way I'm... Maybe, like, a few years down the road when I have, like, more time to just stream. We can 200% Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but that's not for a while. By then, Mario Kart 10 could be out, or X or 9, whatever it's going to be called. You know what they should do? They should kind of do a, like a jacked up tour and then just like have that be the Mario Kart forever and just add stuff to it kind of constantly. That way they still make money from people buying whatever stuff. And it'll pretty much always be the same thing. They'll have like updates and stuff obviously, but you can add whatever characters you want, whatever tracks you want, whenever you want. Could always be updated. Always something new. And also probably get more tracks in that way too. It already is one of the most popular games in the world, so. My cart tour sucks too much microtransactions. I could see that. However, I think it is a good concept. Because the drops work, like what they did with the DLC, but then after the drops, like, what is there? 
you know, it's like no updates basically. I do love this game though, it's one of my favorite games of all time, but then again, my idea could be terrible. Okay. You gonna want Mario Kart Ultimate with every track and character with the retro and nitro s track selected and made? With other DLCs to have every single track? Yeah, kind of similar. Well, it'd be really hard to do every single track, but then again, they do technically have all the renders, they just have to upscale it. So not as much work as creating originals. But who knows, it could be harder, I'm no programmer, so... I mean, it seems like a good concept, then again, it could be terrible if they did it. But I think Tour is a relatively popular game. Mario Run, I like, but I wish you could stop. Like if I had like gamepad controls on it or something. Give you more fun. If they mix like Mario Run, mix Mario Bros, they could be a little bit better. Because all the levels are just too easy, and there's not enough of them. One track where you don't drift too much, excited by Karina. Yeah, there's one perk to it. Wait, no, actually, there's a lot of mini turbo tricks you can do while drifting. I don't know how to do any of them. But it is a thing. At least I had the shroom to recover there. I'm in fourth place. I'm okay right now. Nine coins. Go for this double box. That was a really awkward line. Wait, did I hit that person? Wow, okay, that was actually not as crane of it. Crazy as an ending as I thought it would be. Actually, kind of a chill. Excited by Grace. Pretty rare if that happens. And almost a 13.2k. Let's go. Tour is very mid. And run was good stuff, but you play it for 30 minutes and you get bored, same as tour. Yeah, I get that. But like, imagine if tour had all of the tech and all like the drifty mechanics and stuff that this game had. Except you'd have way more carts. Could it actually be kind of decent. And if it had like VR, I think it'd be pretty fun. That'd be the next Mario Kart in your dreams. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping for, too. And imagine if they brought it over to mobile, too. It was, like, cross-platformable. That'd be awesome. You never played Tour and still won't? I play it, like, I'll go through, like, a phase. Like, I won't play it for, like, a year. And I'll play it, like, a bunch for, like, a week and then never play it again. I don't hate it, however, I'd much rather play this game. Oh, what am I doing? I can go for shortcut. Somehow didn't lose my main over there. I'll take it. Come on, Wiggler. You don't think Mario Kart mechanics could be handled on mobile? Very good point, Egg Doggos. Yeah, you'd be at, like, a huge disadvantage if you're playing mobile. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not that part. It's like, this might be a terrible idea. But then again, it could be cool. Or if they just made it so Tor can, like, use controllers. Because you can connect controllers to your phone. So if they made it, you could use controllers. Might make it a little bit more fun. Back up there. Oh, we got someone. We'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, Mr. Punk. Hopefully I'll see you in 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep this screen shelf for protection here. We're still top three, so. Then again, this third lap is always kind of crazy. Bro, should... Bro has shrooms, I don't know. Is he gonna hold them for cut? 
He might. That's kind of smart. Well, that ended quickly. I'm still fourth, though. There is three fire flowers right now active. No, four? What is this? Okay, but that's kind of good. Don't mess it up. Okay, as I say that, I do. Kind of worked, but that was very messy. Yeah, don't do what I just did there. Okay, we get the fifth again. Nice little solid middle spot there. Remember once you connected your PS4 controller to your phone to play Rocket League Sideswipe? I don't know Rocket League Sideswipe, but I do know Rocket League. I haven't played that game forever. I only have two games on the Switch, I think. Like, let's just see here. Oh, three. Okay. Pretty much only play Mario Kart, and those games were only like, only played it for like a half an hour. I wonder if someone's 100% at Zelda. I imagine they have by now. Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't think there's enough time to 100% Tears of the Kingdom yet, and then again, maybe it's possible. Rocket League Swipe is like a 2D version of Rocket League on mobile. Where you can pull... I can't read the last word, it's covered by an emoji count. Something shots. First time click went off my card on stream. I've clicked on the whole menu before. Like reconnect my troller or something. Eventually, we'll probably do other games, but for now, we'll just do my cart. Like sometimes I've heard that it can mess with the algorithm when you're just starting off the YouTube algorithm. So you kind of want to start expanding on more games once you get more of an audience. So in the future, we'll probably expand to more games. But for now, it's just Market 8 Deluxe, and hey, it's one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm not complaining. Went wide for the coins there. Don't know if that was worth it, but... He's right behind me. He didn't do shortcut, though. What is he doing? Oh. Well, there's a blue shell. Why did I throw that? Okay, well, it wouldn't matter. Boomerangs are invincible, so. Bro got the switch only for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, pretty much, actually. <laughs> pretty much the reason why I got it. You love Heat Seeker? Rocket League game mode? Yeah, I haven't played a game in like a year, so. Well, that happened. At least it was before the item set. You get the green shell, of course. You make it smash. It looks so funny. They need to bring the giant mushroom back, or big mushroom, or Mario Kart Wii back in the next Mario Kart. That was a fun item to have. And it's not, like, too broken. At least in Mario Kart Wii, it wasn't, like, insanely broken. Like, it wasn't game over, bro got a big mushroom. Let's go. Motion glider, but I bonked the wall. <laughs> well, hey, we get the third. Probably should have gotten second, but we may have hit the curve. Heat Seeker is cool, but kind of repetitive. That makes sense. And yeah, a motion glider. I don't have a GameCube controller, but I have a wired pro controller. It's like an enhanced pro controller, I think it's called. 
Very, very nice. It's like, it, it's the same shape as well, just higher quality buttons. And it has paddles, but it's kind of useless for my cart. But, I mean, you can motion glider with it, so hey. Okay, there is a glider on this track, but not nearly as broken as Mario Kart Stadium. Like, that track has kind of grown on me just because of the motion glider. I got a mix of a GameCube and a Pro. Well, yeah, it's just a wired Pro controller. It's so like a motion glide. Or hyper glide. Or glider vector, I think that has three names. I think they're all slightly different things, but kind of similar. And I'm glad I'm in first. This is definitely a front run track. Bro, bump me off my coins. Uh-oh. Yep. Ooh, okay, I didn't fall off. Okay, well, there we go. Well, let's truck this floor here. Now we gotta come back, which is not really good on this track. Just like in Tokyo Blur, we kind of need a shock dodge or pull a shock. Or get green shield. Yeah, okay, I think this is the play. Yes, we got the shock. Amazing. And I'm throwing. I didn't get my trick. <laughs> glider effecting doesn't require motion glider. That's the difference. Okay. It's like I knew they were all kind of somewhat similar, but all kind of different. Okay, I got a ways to go here. <laughs> Went out for the set. Okay, it did barely. I don't know if this is going to work. I might be too far behind. Stole the doubles. Thank goodness. Super clutch there. We should be able to salvage a somewhat good spot here. And let's go motion glider again. We get the sixth place. We passed one person on the glider because of it. I went maybe a little bit too wide there, but still saved enough time, I guess. Definitely getting better at it, which is good to see. Hopefully we can get even better -er grammar moment. Hopefully we can play squeaky clean here. Or yeah, squeaky clean sprint. One of my favorite tracks. Some weird me's in this room. Snow day is fun too. For real, Fred. Mr. Fred. Sydney Sprint is better. It's just the music. Well, that's one thing for sure. The tour tracks all have banger music. They all have really good music, that's for sure. I really like Squeaky Clean. I might even like its music better. Well, hey, we get the maple treeway. Love to see it. I don't know if I like this track more than Squeaky Clean. I like this track more on Minecart Wii. Part of the reason is... I wish they would have ported over the Wii version. And not the toy version. This would have upscaled it because it's the toy version. So it's not as, like, textury. It's a kind of sad moment. And we got a Waluigi Ink Striker. Fire combo, actually really underrated combo. Very, very good for bagging. One of the best bagging ones in the game. Don't lag extremely, please, Waluigi, though. We got a Shy Guy, too. Polar opposites, almost. Okay, oof moment. Now we got Comeback to do, which this isn't really necessarily a baggy track, but it is a very comebackable track, just because of kind of this section right here. Perfect example. 
kind of just chaos seems to happen on that part of the track. So if you have like a star and are able to avoid that on the third lap, it is extremely helpful. And we'll go up here. I don't even know if this is faster, honestly. But you do get the coins, which I didn't get any. That works. And we'll keep zooming here. Chain this set. Get the Christmas shells. Okay, not anymore. Oh, and I got my own mushroom. Let's go. Don't hit me with the boomerang. I'm fine being in second. He can take the blue shell for me. Oof moment. Okay, he finally got me with the boomerang, I guess. We're still in second, though. We're chilling. I'm gonna try and hit this mushroom. I missed it, and that was so much slower. Maybe it wasn't even worth it to go for the shroom. Because now the chaos begins. What? Wait. How did I... Am I that terrible? Okay, I think I drifted too hard into the glider. That is my only explanation for that. I believe that's what happened. Okay. Well. Then again, like I said, this section's crazy. Give me another star. Okay, no star. Let's just get out of here before the chaos happens. And I'll use this for motion glider. Let's go into fifth. But of course, the red shell to end the race. Could have salvaged that there. Yeah, the minus 18. Not too crispy creamy there. Almost came back there. If I wanted to fell out of the cannon, maybe it could have been different. But then again, we didn't do terrible. The red shell just kind of ended our day there. A certified wank won't miss payment. Nintendo should have put the spinning 321 because it's easier to get the best start with the spinning numbers in Mario Kart 7. I never played Mario Kart 7, so I don't know if it was easier or not, but when I first started playing this game, I had a real problem with burning out. Luckily, that doesn't really happen anymore. The occasional, though, burnout does happen still. You drifted too sharp into the cannon, so couldn't launch you. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. What happened? That's what I thought happened. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. And sadly, we're playing this instead of DK Summit. Not a terrible track, but not nearly as good as DK Summit. Welcome back, pumps, and hello, Mama K. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoy. I think there's only one Yoshi Teddy in this room. Which is honestly really awesome to see. And this is like a pretty good room too. I mean obviously it's not like the greatest player in the world. But it's like a, at least for me it's a, it's a decent room. People are starting to learn that hey. There are more options in the meta. Skill is more important. Honestly luck might be more important than... Your combo. Then again, it can vary depending upon the track, but that's probably true. I'm in fourth. Let's go. Now I'm, I'm pretty much gonna be rocking a wiggler probably most of the time now. I love this vehicle, and it looks really good with light blue Yoshi. So I went wide to get the coins, and I missed him. And then it set up a lag trail. We love to see it. Avoid the banana. Mission successful. We have one coin. This is a little rough here. We do get the another mushroom. So we can do this shortcut here. Just gonna trail this for safety purposes. Okay, doesn't matter. Well, we're, we're just getting better items. We'll, we'll just say that. 
Ooh, somehow still got the doubles. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's get ready to do this. Bit questionable line. Yeah, kind of got stuck in the wall there. That was not very good. Somehow in fifth, though. No, I tried to pull it out in time. I couldn't. I clicked my items as fast as I could. But it was not fast enough. And yeah, another race here. Then again, it was another red shell to end the race. Sad moment there. It's been tough tonight. We've gotten a lot of middle spots, which has been okay, but we had the occasional... Yeah, not fair. I totally agree with you. Where is that? The red shells to end two races back to back. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. You're gonna head off, Egg Dagos. I hope you have a good day, morning, night, evening. Whoever it is for you, wherever you are. There's a guy named Clickbit fan. Yeah, I'll just do room change here. If you if you are a fan and you are in my room and you change your name or whatever. I'll just leave, but if you do rejoin my session, you will be banned. Just keep that in mind. Like, I'm not going to ban this guy. I'm glad he's a fan. Okay, if you do rejoin the session, you will be banned. Well, let's leave after this race. But I appreciate the support, Clickbit fan. Cool to see. I think that's the second time that's happened. I'd... I had one guy named Clickbit Fan as well. I think it was spelled different. That was a while ago. Like a month ago. So I guess not like decades, but a little while. Running Riverside, let's do this. Doing the opposite of what you're supposed to do on the tracks. I wonder if that'd be an interesting video. So bagging when you're supposed to front run, and front run when you're supposed to bag. Maybe. Hey, top three kind of has a breakaway somehow. I'm gonna keep my eye out for a blue shell here. Let's go with Yoshi. Okay, well here's the blue, I'm gonna... It shouldn't go for me now, yeah. I think it was worth it to slow down there. Not 100% sure, but I think it was. Somehow everyone just passed me. I feel like I had no acceleration there for a second. Maybe it was just me, though. Yeah, don't lag trail me, please. Okay, we got hit by fire. Didn't matter. You don't get hit by the bomb. I think I'm just gonna go through here. Kind of messed up. Don't hit the guy. Okay, luckily we didn't. Still get the chain. Decent pull, though. Get the mushroom boost super clutch. And we should get fifth here. Oh no, we get fourth. Someone got hit. Let's go. What a race. Click bits. And click this fan right next to each other. Wow. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a room change here. Just to make sure it's fair for everybody playing. And also to prevent possible sabotaging. I don't think that guy is, but just in case in the future if it does happen. Just kind of a precaution. Hopefully we can keep the good momentum going. If you all have enjoyed this stream so far, maybe consider giving it a like. You'd be deeply appreciated. That does sound like a fun video. Maybe I can do that sometime in the future. Next couple months, maybe. Because you would have to like play a lot. Because like, if, let's just say... A track that's not really front run or a bag... It's kind of like a track. 
Like, it would have to be tracks that are actually good for front running and actually good for bagging and do the opposite. Which might take a little bit longer to film. It makes you mad when players name themselves after a letter. You get it for teammates in competitive Mario Kart, but you always get infuriated when I see them in Worldwides. Well, this guy's name is like A. I don't know, I guess I don't really care, but this is just, just a letter. Oh, it ended, okay. You've seen interesting names in Mario Kart Online. I have too. There's been a few, uh, questionable choices to say the least. I don't ever play lounge, so I don't really... I guess get the letters or whatever. I mean, I understand what they're for. You know, it's like Team B, C, whatever. Q. Team Q. This should be team. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't play it, and you probably can tell. I plan on this summer maybe attempting it. Once we... It, like, I'll start to consider it once we hit, like, 15,000 VR. I don't know if I'd stream it, though. We'll have to see. Hello, Tony Schlute. Thank you for tuning in. You always find using people using Smurf accounts. The players, me, in online races. Yeah, that probably does happen more often than I realize. That's an example. It's like they can't get creative with their specific team lettering. So they become lazy and add a letter and go. Well, I see your point there, but then again, they want to... They might still want to keep their name, but just add a letter in front of it. But if it's just a letter, I say, yeah, maybe you probably could be a little bit more creative. Also, then again, it's just a gamer tag. But in lounge, it kind of makes sense. So you could, let's just say I could do B click bits. Versus if we did Team Sharks, I'd have to change my name off of ClickBits to do Sharks. I don't see your points. You think Gecko when he names his character Jeff? That's amazing. I don't watch much Gecko, but maybe I should. Second place already. Banger music. This was in like every YouTube Mario Kart short for like, from like last year, around this time. It's banger music, it makes sense. A little motion glide. I have dual protection, so I don't really care. Maybe I should have. Wait, infinity. It's funny how often you run into people in World Wines. I've seen that guy before. Okay, let's go through here. Wait, what? Wait, A lag trailed me from like... That was super far away. Okay, that's one of the craziest lag trails I've ever seen. Like, I couldn't have gotten much farther away from him. It was on the opposite side of the road. And he was also ahead. That's crazy. Get these coins here. I need to get my coins up. Throw this ahead here. Ooh, couldn't chain in time. Could be costly. Or not. The shock happened, so it doesn't matter. Okay, well. You put forward Tour's iteration of this course song to the than this. I don't think I've ever played this track of tour. So I don't know. Then again, it still is pretty good either way. Did not get the double. Could be an issue here. But we get the mushroom now. We avoided the fire somehow. I need to be careful this guy doesn't back his red shell. Doesn't matter. Don't hit me with another star. Please. Thank goodness I swerved. I avoided the red shell. Put the 
we get to plus four. Let's go. We love to see it. Positive gains. Been a lot of middle spots today. At least we're not losing VR. We actually have gained VR this session, so we take it. Ooh. Alder Ribbon, I think. You ever wonder if Japanese players are only good due to lag? You mean you do beat Japanese players fine, but you like to think that lag is how they usually get the upper hand? Well, here's the thing, right? Very valid point, but from their perspective, we're the same way. So, like Japanese players are really laggy for us, but over in Japan, American players are really laggy for them. So, how does it really make a difference? I doubt they'd make the server purposely bad to give them an advantage. That'd be kind of weird. Then again, it is Nintendo, but they're usually a decently smart company. Let's do this. We got a Yoshi Scooty? No, I'm sorry. Waluigi Scooty. We love to see it. I've been seeing more Waluigi classes lately. And I'm digging it. I'm all for it. Waluigi's one of my favorite characters in this game, so. Like, I get way too happy when I see Waluigi Wiggler. I try to back the fire. A little bit late on the old button click there. So I'm not still got an item. No, let's just go through the hole. I don't think I've ever done that before. They'd probably be really good in China, but their government won't, them, won't let them play online games. I didn't know that. Yikes. Maybe I did know that. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, if. They're really laggy for us, we're really laggy for them. That's probably how it is, so. They could say the same thing about us, so it likely doesn't really make that much of a difference, I guess. Then again, it does seem to be like the Americans take the majority of it. Then again, there are more Japanese Mario Kart players than Americans, so kind of makes sense. So their lag like, definitely influences the game more. That's for sure. Just because there's more of them. I'll just back this. Maybe cause some chaos behind me. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this ahead. Somehow got the items there. Huge. Didn't think I was going to get them there. I'm gonna chain these. Or not. Whoa, okay. Yes, the red shell didn't end our day. We get the third place. Let's go. Back up to 13,200. We'd love to see it. Let's keep it going. China does have a Pseudo-Wii? Maybe I said that wrong. That can play online, but only in their country. Well, at least they can play with the country. They made a remake of Mario Kart Wii and China blocked it from being released because of some copyright issue. Seems interesting. I mean, at least they're allowed to play online games within their country. Hopefully we don't have to play Toad Circuit here. Not the most banger of tracks. Would not be too excited about that. If 
Bowser Castle. I think this track has been getting picked more lately. Not a terrible track, however, not a great track. It's been getting picked a lot more. I mean, the glider vector section is kind of fun, but I don't generally glider vector it for some reason. Is it a King Boo Teddy? Let's go. Oh, King Boo Scooty. Okay. Almost fell off there. So that's the one thing. I think the Wiggler, Wiggler is better at micro adjustments than a Teddy Buggy. I guess you could say its handling is more sensitive. Could be another word for it. Could just be an illusion, but it does appear that way. I'm gonna secure the double box, didn't glide vector it. The Peach Scooties. The ultimate sweaty combo nowadays. Funny how Yoshi Teddy is like actually kind of being removed as the sweatiest combo. I mean, it's still arguably the best combo, but it's no longer really the sweatiest combo. Daisy Teddy's kind of... Daisy's just becoming pretty much the new sweatiest character. Daisy and Peachette. We'll throw this ahead here. And I should make it here. Okay, I actually hit a Japanese player there. Generally, they just, they just speed up afterwards. Just because of lag. Let's go, Yoshi. Alright. Fourth place, third lap. Let's maintain this position at the worst. Maybe even get a first place, question mark. I feel like I'm supposed to hold on to one of these streams, so I'm going to. We'll see if it pays off or not. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold on to this for the rest of the race. Just don't get lag trails, my goal now. I'm not gonna glide a vector this. I'm just gonna go through the shortcut. Neither of these guys have shrooms. Then I have the red shell. No lag. Oh, I still got first. Wow, okay, that was. A really good play there. Let's go. W first. You want to glide effector so much, it may try to find a quartered pro controller like Hydrax was talking about. Yeah, I have one. It's called like, I think it's, yeah, PDP or something like that. Yeah, PDP Aftergirl Wave Wired Controller for Nintendo Switch. I believe on Amazon it's called an Enhanced Pro Controller. So yeah, it's the same shape, same size buttons minus the triggers. So all the muscle memory of the uh, soft drifting and stuff all carries over. And you can go out of vector with it, so. It also has RGBs, which is a nice touch. Definitely one of the best wired pro controller alternatives out there then again i haven't used any of them besides this but this one does work really well definitely is worth it with the uh... you see them only 38 bucks to half the pro half the price of the pro controller yeah that's what's nice it's actually cheaper and they call it an enhanced pro controller, so it's technically better. And it's wired, so. I definitely recommend it. It's what I use, so. I know I'm no pro, but I do have to use it with it at least. And emotion glidering is a lot of fun. Can this pro controller shake trick? No, you need a motion sensor to shake trick. And most wired controllers don't have a motion sensor. So you have to trick or trick. But I never really shake trick before, so it wasn't too big of a deal for me. It's not too hard to get used to, I've heard people say as well. You just have to learn the timing of it. 
which I never shake tricks, so kind of already had the timey down ish. Yeah, I can put it the link for it in the description after sometime tonight. If you guys really want to know, I can just put a link in there. That's why he bought the sixty tower one because of the motion sensor. Yeah, if you have a motion sensor, you can't motion glider. You'll have motion controls on as well. Which, I mean, you can do it that way, but then you have to hold the controller still. Which I tried for a little bit, and it's annoying enough to not want to do it. Like sometimes you just randomly mess up. Unless you can hold your hands perfectly still while playing, which is really hard. Let's check this head here. But yeah, I'll try to remember to put the link for it in the description. After this video. Well, after this live stream, I guess. Fifth place. I'm kind of working my way up here. And I could build a glider vector this. Kind of had an awkward approach. Because of the piranha plant. Yeah, I thought I was going to get hit by that. I did. The 8th place. Sad moment. Is the official pro controller unviable? Not necessarily. I mean, a lot of pros still use the regular old pro controller, but... You can glide a vector with it if you hold it still. Or if you play with most controls on. Which is doable. It's just kind of weird to... Counter hop. But yeah, technically, the wired pro controller alternatives are more viable than the official Nintendo pro controller. At least for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I mean, it's not like bad to use the Pro Controller, but... You've seen people regularly advance a couple spots doing the motion glider. Yeah, that is true. Like, especially on Hyrule Circuit. It's pretty crazy what it can do sometimes. Like, earlier in the stream, the Mario Kart Stadium race. You were able to turn on motion controls and do that. Then again, you have enough time to probably turn on tilt controls on that glider. But hey. And we're playing this track again, I guess. Yeah, motion glider is definitely worth it. Good to know. Thankfully, I'll only motion glider on one track anyway. My kite stadium. And look at that. What a coincidence. Playing it on here. Do the shortcut. He kind of messed it up, but it still worked. You like Mario Kart Stadium? It looks clutch. It has grown on me recently because of the motion glittering. I don't hate it, that's for sure. There are definitely worse tracks out there. And like, I'll do like a kind of motion glider, I guess, right there. Oh wait, we can go again. Not gonna be a full motion glider though. Was all the way into third place. Very broken. Eight to third. Well, now we're back to well seventh. Not quite eight, but we love green shells and red shells. Okay, that bomb just barely missed us. I almost missed it. I'm just gonna back this. I feel like shouldn't have done that. Messed up my line. However, doesn't matter. We got hit anyway. Ooh, my bonk there. We got one shroom. I can make it through the shortcut at least. Doesn't matter. Yet again, we get hit there. Hey, at least I'm in the back. If I can get shrooms, this is going to be amazing. I do. Okay, I'm just holding on to these for the rest of the race. We just have to not mess up the motion glider now. 
So I got the single, so I might have like a star afterwards. Yes. So when I land, I'll be invincible. Which could help. Alright, let's do this. Wow, how did I only take eight? It looks like I didn't realize how far ahead the people were. <laughs> a lot of Japanese players in this lobby. The fact is only Japanese are American. But isn't it like four o'clock in the morning in Japan right now? We got all the tryhards in here, I guess. A little random here. And we're probably looking at one more race here. Maybe two, depending on how quick this one is. Or how bad it is. Before we end stream. We have a viewer races idea. We should all randomize our combo after each race. It's optional so people won't get the message. Maybe. Tomorrow we're just... Right, if you didn't know, we're playing with viewers tomorrow at 2.30pm Eastern Standard Time. We'll just do a chill session, no tournament or anything. I generally try to do like a tournament or challenge. Every other time. Just so that way some people don't want to do challenges, whatever. But it is fun to do them, so... Every other time. We take turns. Okay, apparently you're just playing the same tracks over and over again. A lot of VR variety in this room. No, I'm the lowest VR person I think in here. Or second lowest? I didn't see everybody, but... One of the lowest. And I've done pretty decent actually, so I'll take that. Okay. Bring our music. As we said last time. We get the purple. Nice. But I hit the car trying to be fancy. Let's get two items. Oh, bag. I don't really care. Maybe not the greatest idea in this track, however. Definitely not undoable. Not really a word, but hey. Hello, Steph Williams1. Thank you for tuning in in the Twitch stream. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well as well. Welcome, welcome, sir. Hope you enjoy. Please don't super horn me. Let's just zoom through here. Through all this. At the Pichette, poor Pichette. Oh wait, it didn't hit her. Okay, a little scary there. Well, somehow I didn't get hit. Okay, car moment. Oof moment. Back this here. Get these coins. Oh, I guess I only got two of them, but that's okay. Ow. Oops. Okay, that's that's bad. Alright, now we got a third lap comeback. Just gonna get a single. I don't think I was gonna be able to get the doubles there. Okay, maybe going that far away for one coin. Probably not the greatest idea. Give me mushrooms, yes. Just don't get lag trailed. Okay, nothing stupid happened. Alright, we get 6th place. Respectable, respectable. How long have I been playing Minecraft 8 Deluxe? Well, seriously? Like, playing it seriously? I think I started around September of last year. Around there, once I started this channel. And yeah, I think we have enough time for one more race, so let's go ahead and do that here. 
I mean, I obviously played this game before then, but definitely not seriously. Just casual every once in a while. So what kind of game do I play mostly? Uh, pretty much this. Or what kind of gameplay mostly? Like gameplay gameplay? Pretty much just... VR, I guess. Trying to get VR. I mean, on my... Like, my YouTube channel, my videos aren't really about getting VR. Like, challenges or experiments or something. My live streams are about getting VR, pretty much. Trying to get to 20,000. And I'll take the bagging track here, honestly, to end the day. Just because anything can happen. And depending upon if I get hit out early, I might attempt Shuma Shortcut just for Goose. Alright, let's do this. Okay, I got a mushroom, so I'll just go for it with mushroom. We're gonna front run Yoshi's circuit. Bad idea? Probably, but hey. A bad idea done well is an okay idea. So let's hope this is an okay idea. Kind of messed up there. The peach sets, of course. Don't hit me. That was a little close for comfort there. They take so long to break on the Wii. It was only like three bounces and I break. It's much longer on this one. This track is your least favorite backing track, favorite boy. I could see that. Just because the only thing that actually makes this a bagging track is the bullet extension on that. That's pretty much the only reason why. Oh, I hit sim one. Whoops. We'll jump here. Where am I from? I am from the United States of America, the USA. I'm just gonna trail this, get a PTSD speed behind me. You're very unpredictable. Just got hit by air, love to see it. I got lag trail from someone behind me, but they hit me in front. That makes any sense. Probably doesn't, but hey. That's because it doesn't really make sense. We're back this year. What a pull. Wow, I didn't expect this. Yeah, luckily we avoided the bullet there. Don't activate your star now, please. Everyone has stars. I'm so scared. No. While we just throwing. Ah. No, no. Why like this? Of course, it was Waluigi. And only three bullets active at once, so if you get one, you're only begging to lose. Good point. But I mean, you could get a bullet extension top three. But yeah, what a way to end the day. We still gained about... Not as much as I thought, actually. I think we gained... Well, I don't remember. We're up to 13,200 now, so I'll take it. Do I have a Discord community? I don't yet. Oh, you have a Discord community where you support small streamers. Would I like to join? Well, I'm pretty much never on Discord. Maybe. I don't know, though. Rock Rock and SNES Mario Circuit 3 are your least favorite bagging tracks. Rock Rock, I'll agree with you. However, I kind of like SNES, SNES Circuit. You would love to join a Discord server? I don't have one yet. I have like an account, but I don't have a server. Once I have memberships, I will... Probably set up a Discord just for members only and stuff like that. 
but not until I have members. And I have to get monetized first, which we're almost there, actually. Very close to a thousand subscribers. Can I type my Discord name? Actually, I have no idea what it is. It's been like six months since I clicked on the app. And yeah, with that, it's getting a little bit late, y'all. We're gonna have to close this one out. June and I close stream at around this 8.27, and I think it's 8.28 now. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close this one out, y'all. Thank you all for tuning in now and in the future. If you watch this in a VOD format, be sure to follow forever over on Twitch, like the stream if you're on YouTube. And yeah, we'll be playing with viewers tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to tune in for that. That's all. Bye-bye!